Let me turn up the sound a tiny bit. Not down. Up. Easy to get those mixed up. I still need to send you the old graphics card that works perfectly fine, not the one that sort of works not all the time. Important uh, distinction. A little bit. Uh, I had a plan earlier. I was like, when we record, I'll blah. It's probably You're doing something a... to surprise slash grief XV. Uh, I'm, I'm blahing fairly well, but yeah, I'm also derping to the best of my ability. Um... What the hell am I going to do? Well, if I can find more monster spawners. Help me landscape. If well, you want to find mo Well, no, we can't now because there's no entities right here. I was going to say, go take a walk out in the desert and yeah. or surrounding area. You'll find them eventually. But oh, yeah. no, somebody didn't enable uh, entities radar. Well, obviously that's because I hate you. Yes. Uh, uh, it's because I... I don't know what the hell happened to it. I, well, if we want to take a break, we have that enabled on spawner block, right? Uh, it should be. And I can just, if we want to take like a five second break, I can copy it over and restart the server. Okay. Doing something. All right. Well, I'm going to stop. We're recording right now. Okay. Let me find it. Just give me one a brief warning before you. Uh... We need the bombsons.api for that. No, right? that's for enchant view. You're oh. looking for a login message, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I have not touched anything else, so I should just be able to copy this over from the mods folder. Gardening, Rob. Yep. Just enough to get my carriage replenished. Paste. Why don't you just go make some soup? Carrots are more spacious, space efficient. That's a good point. I'm gonna disconnect. All right, so I guess we should restart, huh? Well, it'll only take a few seconds. I already got the mod copied over. All right. Okay. I will disconnect. I stopped recording. All right. Are you done yet? Yes, actually. Oh. Really? Well, it already copied it over. Since our server properties file still should be the same, it should be just that. Okay, well, can we come back? Yep, Entities Radar works. Yep, Woo there we go. Yay. There, that was almost painless. We back. All Yay. right, Jay, let's go. Spawner quest. Yeah, let's go find the spawners. I've got... Oh, you know what you should do, though? What? Before we go, make uh, airship parts. So you yeah, can build one onto us. Oh, I actually have airship parts on me. Oh, okay. That way we can transport it. Yeah, because as long as, you know... We can find one. It'll be awesome mm -hmm. and fluffy and full of tiny, tiny badgers. Kitties. So Kitty tell badgers. about your character's boobs. <laughs> I love your segues. <laughs> so Squenix made the accident, or maybe they did it on purpose, of adding a bus, a bus size slider. Um, I'm playing a Reorganin, which are the tallest, largest characters in the game. I turn my bus slider all the way up because, lol, boobies. Because I'm an adult. Of course. Jiggle physics are active, so watching me run or jump is amazing. But more to the point, my character's boobs are Bigger than, like, human... Not even, like, the little races, just humans' heads. <laughs> I literally had somebody standing in front of me. They were playing a human. They were, you know, like, normal people size. <laughs> boobs bigger than their head with their helmet on. So how sophisticated is this? I mean, can you, like, slap people? Sadly, no. Oh. Well, you can emote things like that. Emote, not emote. Eh? Sounds pretty yes, emo to me. You can emote certain things. But, um... I literally was out, like, gathering. And one... Or, you know, botanying. Yes, it's a verb now. 
I was out botanying, and there are these groups of like dedicated players who fate grind, fader, you know, fast action time events, basically. random encounters. Yeah. Oh, basically. here's one of the meteor strikes, yeah. and there's um, a Star space creeper, creeper in it. Oh, yeah. But you know, um, let me uh, let me work on that. Yeah. I went to cross the road to continue, oh, you know, gathering shit. And I saw a fake group running towards me. I'm like, oh, well, you know, let me just wait here on the side of the road for them to pass, because otherwise I'm going to start accidentally targeting people, and that's a pain in the ass. Uh, I think so... I killed it. Uh -huh. yeah? eh. Nothing. Continue. So I waited at the side of the road, watched, like, 20 people run by, and then proceeded to cross the road, much like a chicken. Ten of those 20 people turned around and came running back. You can tell when somebody is targeting you because they look directly at you. However, you can also tell what angle their camera is at because their head moves to indicate <laughs> the angle. Every last one of them was staring at my tits. Because <laughs> I was wearing the, uh, the coatie, which as far as I can tell is, oh my god, boobies. Because it's basically cut so it you know, lifts and presses together. So yes, every last single, or half of those people in the fate, every last person that ran back to stare at me, ran back to stare at me to stare at my boobs. <laughs> I was so happy. That's pretty lifelike. Yeah. The best part, of course, was today she ran into a group of our guild, several of whom she had never seen her character before, while she was out wearing crafting gear. I, well, no, I was actually in my normal gear, and I changed into my crafting gear to show them yeah. the amazement, or, you know, the holy shit. And they were all just going, holy crap, look at her boobs. Yep. <laughs> it ended up with the entire group of people sitting around staring at her breasts. Yeah. <laughs> what an interesting day. It was a good time. And the funny thing is, is, you know, one of our, or a bunch of our friends play the game. And um, he was talking about the fact that he actually made a female character, and he's like, and I went for a modest bus size, whereas his fiance turned the bus lighter all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fair, because she has, you know, giant boobs in real life. Uh -huh. So, you know. Yeah. But the funny thing was, is I was, you know, sitting there watching her play her character, and I was like, Damn. Humans have tiny fucking titties in this game. <laughs> of course, this being said, because you know I'm playing someone who's God seven foot five, seven foot four. I think it's seven foot four. So. And my only complaint is the game is sexist because there is not a junk slider for guys. There should be. Yeah. <laughs> because I'll tell you this right now, that junk slider would have gone all the way up. And I am like seven, or I'm like eight feet tall, so that would have been frightening. You just need the uh, variable size cod pieces. Yeah, it would have been bigger than the smaller races in the game, and that would be fine. <laughs> that would be amazing. Just walk around looking like you have a giant lolafell stuffed in your pants. Or just, you know, like a couple of squirrels fighting in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, squirrels are smaller than lolafell. Well, yeah, but that's why I said a couple. That means two or more. Mm. Oh god! Oh, it's in the wall. Oh god, it's not in the wall anymore. XB released it. Space creeper. <laughs> I got a space well, creeper tombstone. I'm on fire too. It um, it was in a wall. Don't the space creeper tombstones spawn them or creeper I, tombstones? I don't know. We'll have to experiment with this. I don't. You know, XB, you're the one who's supposed to know this shit. I didn't know there were creeper tombstones. Let's find out. Neither did I. You can't put it down down here. Oh, that's right, you can only put it on, uh, grass. But I'm getting a hell of a lot of meteor chips. Same here. My face itches. Delicious meteor chips. This is a pretty fresh strike, too, so... Yeah. Uh, I, I seriously think they need to include, uh, package slider and jiggle physics for guys. I agree. Because, you know, that would be fair. They also need to institute better asses. Yeah, they do, because they're all... All the characters have Asian asses. I don't mean that to sound racist or anything, but... You know, no asses. So there's neither ass slider nor ass jiggle physics? No. No. That's sad. 
Of course, I'm also the person who spends all of my free time when I'm crafting, which is pretty much all of the time during the game, staring directly up the female NPC's skirts because there's nothing else to do while crafting. Like, this is what it feels like to be a Japanese man. Ah, oh. oh, that's racist. Not really. If not accurate. Yeah. I should say that. Okay, not all of them. Okay, a Japanese guy in an anime. There you go. Yeah. I am OCDing these torches. Huh? Oh, I'm actually out of uh, inventory space. I am too. It's hard to tell with the magnet armor because the stuff just continues circulating. I think there's actually fire circulating around me. There is. What's there's the diff difference between the different colors of meteor block? Uh, some of them set you on fire, some don't. That's an important distinction. Yes. I have a lot of the, snow the ones that have colors are still hot. Yeah. Uh, ah. they may have a higher chance of dropping a meteor chip. Very but even the even the cool ones will drop a chip eventually. Yeah, I've got 50 some odd on me. Creeper! Oh god. Where? Didn't seem like it did much damage. Oh yeah, I mined them. I was I mined a creeper out of the meteor. That was startling to me earlier. I, I picked up some uh, red meteor gems. I think those are useful somehow in yeah, we can doing use them something. For crafting meteor spawners, I think, depending uh, on the type. A meteor detector? That will also be useful. A uh, meteor summoner. A uh, meteor oh. crash zone detector. Also useful. Okay, yes. And all this stuff sounds useful. Space creeper! Oh god, where? Uh, well, I assume it just exploded. Ah. Yeah, I think any time you destroy a meteor block, there's a chance of a creeper spawning out of it. Okay, I need a place to dump all these snowballs. And I need to find how to get out of here. Fling them off into this. I did make a staircase for easier escaping, but... I only see a cobblestone column. Uh. That's the staircase. No, that wasn't <laughs> the one I made. <laughs> Let me hop down. Uh... I know it's somewhere along one of the walls. It should be. Ah, here. Oh. That looks like a hole. Yeah, it does. Alright. It's so a space hole. Should we go back to exploring? We can. What the hell? Knock some shit over. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's again, it's near me. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, because we need to find spawners. Mm-hmm. Eventually, we're going to have to develop a horrifying, murderous weapon. Okay. Although, it may be hard to detect the actual spawners now with things spawning sure, on I the surface. Sword again. Stop it. Wrong Those with are you? the strafe buttons in 14, so I keep hitting them <coughs> and bringing up my menu or throwing my weapon. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, what can I throw out of my inventory? Um, Jay? Jay's not in my inventory, or I would. <clears> hmm. <throat> What's this? This is interesting, because it says that there's a small cluster of monsters directly below here. Yes, I see that. Also a grave marker over there. Are you digging straight down? Yes, because I'm intelligent. I try. Well, now I'm digging in sort of a spiral. Ah, I think I see where you are. There's ice. Lots of ice. Ow. Ow. Why are you trying to pierce the heavens, Jay? Well, I'm not seeing this shit, so maybe. It's probably still farther down. 